Old Dominion, Georgia State uh, in the uh, Sun Belt next up. We've got uh, uh, a pretty good one here, actually, with these two teams. Georgia State, four-point home favorites, 56 the total uh, in this game. Uh, boy, oh, boy, I'll tell you what. Georgia State totally, totally broke my heart last week. What a start they had against App State uh, in that weeknight game, and then it just completely fell apart for them, 42-7. I don't know what happened in the second half. Darren Granger, uh, his passing ability is not there, okay? He can't throw the ball a lick half the time, and, and that continues to be an issue right now uh, for this Georgia State offense. He's making bad mistakes. He's not a great pocket passer, and this kind of like a little UCF thing going with Georgia State's offense, where if you stop the run, you stop Georgia State. Old, Old Dominion's not stopping the run, though. They're giving up 181 rushing yards per game, 104th in the country. That's concerning. So at home, you know, Georgia State, I actually lean to Georgia State, crazy as it is to say here in this game. I haven't loved what I've seen out of Old Dominion in recent weeks. They lose to Liberty by double digits. They lose to Georgia Southern 28-23 last week. Uh, offensively, I like this team, but defensively, they've been kind of disappointing at times. I like Hunter Wolf, the quarterback, but and they've got a good running back in Blake Watson, but haven't been impressed at times with this ODU defense. And if they're going to struggle to stop the run, which has been a consistent for them this season, that feeds into what Georgia State does well uh, offensively, uh, which is run the football. Uh, and that's when they win. That's when they put up points. That's when that offense works. So I would look toward Georgia State here at four. Uh, I think the over could hit as well, because you look at Georgia State, defense yeah, is still read them off. for them. Yeah. Yeah. 42 allowed to App State. They could not stop uh, Chase Bryce in that App State. And Cameron Peoples, the running back, went nuts. They could not get a stop in the second half of that game. Gave up 42 points. They gave up 33 to Georgia Southern. Uh, 41 in a loss to Coastal. 42 in a loss to Charlotte. 35. I mean, you get the point. Georgia State's defense has given up points. So I would look at the over in this game as well. Uh, what do you think, C-Mac? ODU, Georgia State. Yeah, I, I just I'm looking at the over here. Uh, I'm not really the side. I just think mid fifties, you know, if this was even 60 where it was, you know, the Georgia state game last week, 59, but at 56 and a half, I think that gets over. And what has happened old dominion? I mean, their defense, yeah, they're in the first two games. They haven't done anything. So Georgia state, one thirteenth, one twenty three. This is all score difference, total difference. The Monarchs one eighteenth total. And you mentioned hundred defense, one eighteen that gets the pass. Granger's not going to need to throw it here. <laughs> so uh and if he does he might have a little bit success so i think this is a dead over here old dominion will score i think it's back and forth maybe this is a good shot for georgia state to win but i still want some more more points here just to feel safe because they just haven't been been able to get it done 